Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do parallaxes and dolly zooms on your drone. Now you can do these on any drone. It's just about understanding the fundamentals and going out practicing them. So you might have seen this technique on lots of different Hollywood blockbuster films. This parallax is seen all the time where the subject is in focus and then the background is spinning around really quickly. And it's a great move to be able to do. And then dolly zooms, not seen as much, but a lot of fun. And I'm gonna be teaching you both of those techniques today. So let's just show you what you're gonna to need to get going. So in today's example, I'm gonna be using the DJI Mavic 3, and this has this huge lens on front of it here, this 5.1K Hasselblad lens. Now to get the very best footage, you wanna use some ND filters. This will then allow you to use the pro settings and then have your shutter speed at double your frame rate. I'm gonna be talking to you about that throughout the video, but this will allow you then to get some motion blur and really natural looking image. Without ND filters, the shutter speed is simply going to be too high and then it won't look as good. So I'm gonna be using it on the Mavic 3. Finally, I have these ND filters by Freewell, and these are absolutely fantastic. I've been looking forward to these arriving, and these allow me then to get an ND from ND4 all the way up to ND2000. So let's now get into the video. I'm gonna be showing you the parallax to start with on Blackpool Tower, and show you just how good it is, and then we'll move over to the dolly zooms. Let's go. So the first thing we need to do is change it over to pro mode. Now I'm gonna be filming in 5K25, so I'm gonna bring that shutter speed all the way down now with its ND filter on to 1 over 50th, and I'm using an ND16. Without this, the shutter speed will be really high. ISO, you want it set as low as possible, so ISO 100. I'm just gonna move this now to 5.1K25. So these are my values. You're gonna screenshot that, go ahead, and let's move on. Within the settings, let's just click on the settings, top right hand corner, go to camera. I'm going to be encoding format h265 and then we want to look at the grid lines now these are super important and the grid lines that you need to have on so make sure you have the one selected now you can use this one here but i don't find for parallax it's very good so i have the rule of thirds grid line and also this here and this gives you like a nice little call of duty crosshair in the middle and this is super important for parallaxes Although it might seem easier, don't use a telephoto camera because you can't use pro settings, you can only use auto. So for the time being, until we get pro access, let's not use that. Fly cautiously. The aircraft warning Fly system cautiously. is awesome on here. It tells you how Fly far cautiously. away the aircraft is and also how high it is. What a great system. I think all drones should have this going forward. Let's now concentrate on this tower and I'll show you how to do this parallax. And this is why you need them grid lines on we spoke about. So I want Blackpool Tower now to be the focus. So this grid line here, this crosshair, you want to try and keep that directly on the subject. So because I'm flying around this, the Blackpool Tower, the crosshair, you want to try and keep it as close to that as possible and keep it on it as you're rotating round. Now it's going to take a few attempts to do this, but once you've got it actually on that subject, keep it locked on there all the time. Don't move your thumbs about because then you will lose it. It needs to be really smooth. It takes a lot of practice, this. Once you've got it though, keep your hands still and you should get some really good parallax footage. So that's the simple fundamentals, but you'll notice we're quite far away from this subject. So we can get closer to it because we don't have access to a two time zoom on the Mavic 3 yet with the main lens. But what you can do also is in your editor program, like on Final Cut Pro here, I can increase the scale. So currently this is at 100% but I can then crop in and have a 200% scale which then allow the image and the video to look a lot closer than it actually is and this is the exact same shot but now cropped in at two times but because we are using a 5.1k video image the quality is still fantastic but let's now get a little bit closer to the tower and then go the opposite direction using the same techniques Parallaxes are certainly a lot of fun, but let's now look at dolly zooms. So for this, we're gonna use a telephoto camera. Now, because we don't have pro settings, I'm gonna lower the exposure value to 0.3. It's not ideal, but it's the best we've got. Now, the seven times zoom is optical, but there's such a jump from four times to seven times, it isn't smooth. So I would only use 3.9 as the maximum range. Now, there's two different types of dolly zoom. The first one we're gonna do is you actually going to be zoomed in all the way to start with. 
and then you're going to zoom out to one times so we're here now at 3.8 times as we zoom out we're going to fly towards the tower to get this shot Pretty cool, isn't it? So let's try that again. So remember, so you zoom all the way in. So we're now at 3.9 times. We're not flying the drone at all yet. So we're zoomed in. Now we're going to fly towards the tower, but zoom out to one times. So from 3.9 times all the way out to one times whilst flying towards the tower to get this illusion. Whilst we're here, let's just take a break and we'll just take a photo as well of this tower. And just remind you, if you are new around here, a like and subscribe will be excellent. I'm doing many more tutorials coming soon as well. Okay, the next dolly zoom. So now we're at one times. So we're quite close to the tower now. So now we want to actually fly backwards. As you're going to fly backwards, you're going to zoom in. So this is now the opposite. So once again, be close to the object, fly backwards and then zoom in up to 3.9 times for this illusion. With some practice, you can get some incredible shots using these techniques. So I am going to be back to this location really soon. I'm going to be doing some hyperlapse tutorials in this area as well when it's all nice and lit up in the evening. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. So a quick video showing you how to do parallaxes and dolly zooms on the Mavic 3. So just go out and practice them. Go and find a tall object like a tower or something and practice it. Uh, the Freewell filters, brilliant. Uh, they really did help. And let's not forget and let's take away from the fact that I've done all that footage. Uh, parallaxes, dolly zooms, nearly attacked by several seagulls in 30 mile an hour winds. I'm able to bring it back to me and still have over... 40 odd percent battery life the battery life on this is absolutely incredible we're gonna go pick this drone up i'll look in the description below i'll also link these nd filters as well we're gonna practice them and let me know what you think